North Korea, often labeled as the Hermit Kingdom, has endured a combination of severe international sanctions and self-imposed isolation, effectively severing the northern half of the Korean peninsula from the global community. Yet, this reclusive stance doesn't signify a lack of strength. One mustn't overlook the fact that even hermits can possess formidable defenses. Following the tumult of World War II, the Korean peninsula found itself split into two distinct entities, with the northern territories falling under Soviet occupation, while the southern regions were administered by American forces. It was amidst this backdrop of geopolitical tension that the Korean People's Army, KPA, emerged in 1948, primarily tasked with bolstering Kim Il-sung's bid to unify the entire peninsula under his leadership. The culmination of this endeavor unfolded in 1950, when Kim Il-sung launched a daring offensive, driving his forces as far south as Busan before encountering staunch resistance in the form of an American-led counterattack. The subsequent intervention by China forestalled the collapse of the newly formed Democratic People's Republic of Korea, yet the ceasefire that followed merely reinstated the frustrating division of Korea. In the ensuing decades, the KPA's role underwent continual evolution, molded by the unresolved tensions lingering from the Korean War. Despite these shifts, two core objectives remained constant, safeguarding the stability of the Kim family regime and ensuring the means to assert dominance over the Korean peninsula. This unwavering commitment to protecting the regime's interests exerts a profound influence on the KPA's organizational structure, characterized by a strict authoritarian hierarchy. At the helm of this structure stands Kim Jong-un, assuming the mantle of supreme commander and wielding unparalleled authority over all military affairs within the state. Loyalty to the regime is vigorously enforced through extensive political indoctrination orchestrated by the General Political Bureau alongside the vigilant oversight of the Ministry of State Security, which operates as a clandestine police force reporting directly to Kim. The regime's consolidation of power has been further reinforced by a series of purges initiated by Kim Jong-un since 2013, resulting in the replacement of up to 80% of the KPA's upper echelon. Such measures serve to insulate the regime from internal dissent, ensuring unwavering allegiance to the Kim dynasty's rule. While North Korea's economic struggles are widely acknowledged, it allocates a significant share of its GDP to defense expenditure, thus sustaining the world's fourth largest military force. At the forefront of North Korea's defense strategy lies the strategic force, which assumes paramount importance due to its stewardship of the nation's nuclear capabilities. While North Korea's foray into nuclear armament dates back to the 1950s, its pursuit of nuclear proficiency has escalated dramatically under the leadership of Kim Jong-un. Contemporary estimates suggest that North Korea boasts a substantial nuclear arsenal, complemented by an arsenal of ballistic missiles purportedly capable of reaching key strategic targets in South Korea, Japan, or even the United States. The possession of nuclear weapons serves as a potent deterrent, underscoring Kim Jong-un's unwavering assertion of sole authority over their deployment, thereby dissuading any potential threats to his regime. In parallel, the ground force of the KPA, comprising a formidable force of over a million soldiers alongside a vast array of tanks and artillery, retains its significance within North Korea's military calculus. Despite the antiquated nature of much of its equipment, the ground force is endowed with the responsibility of defending the nation's borders, a task facilitated by the extensive fortifications tunnel networks and minefields that dot the demilitarized zone. Additionally, 
The ground force benefits from the auxiliary support provided by the Worker Peasants Red Guard, a vast paramilitary organization boasting a membership exceeding 5 million individuals. This collaboration not only furnishes the KPA with a virtually inexhaustible reservoir of manpower, but also imbues it with the capacity to wage a protracted guerrilla campaign against any potential invader, further underscoring North Korea's commitment to maintaining its territorial integrity. Moreover, the KPA's arsenals extend beyond conventional military assets to encompass formidable cyber warfare capabilities, thus augmenting its capacity to advance the regime's interests through clandestine means. These cyber operations, purportedly orchestrated by North Korean agents, have been implicated in a myriad of international incidents, ranging from espionage to financial theft, thereby bolstering the regime's ability to project power beyond its territorial confines. Looking towards the future, North Korea is poised to prioritize the consolidation of its nuclear capabilities alongside the continued refinement of unconventional tactics aimed at undermining its adversaries. Despite aspirations for modernization, the critical shortages plaguing North Korea's defense sector are poised to impede any significant advancement in broader military capabilities. Nonetheless, the KPA's unwavering commitment to safeguarding the Kim regime's interests ensures its continued status as a formidable deterrent, perpetuating the precarious state of peace on the Korean peninsula.